I usually find it difficult sleeping at night, especially if I'm supposed to like be traveling or having like a long trip the following day. So I'm currently at the Goddess Good Motors in Adja, Lagos State, Nigeria. I am traveling to Port Harcourt and I'm already in the bus. I actually missed my bus, my actual bus, the bus that I booked for online. It was supposed to be for 6.45 but because of the traffic jam on Aja, I kind of missed that bus and I was reassigned to um, another bus. That's the bus that was supposed to leave next which was for 7.13. We actually stayed in the bus station for about an extra 30 to 40 minutes and it was really tiring. Like I was really, really hoping that we moved on time to beat the um, traffic on the road so we don't get to get um, to Port Harcourt at night. I'm hoping that we're going to move as soon as possible. So yeah, as you can see, the bus has already moved, so we're moving and hopefully this is going to be a good ride. Um, the Goddess Good Motors, I think their buses are actually okay. Um, they kind of give you the entire flight experience, not entirely, but like there's this, you know, cool flight experience. But you get to stay in an AC bus and um, they have... Each person, like each seat has, um, like you could watch whatever you want to watch. Like if you want to watch a movie, you want to listen to music, whatever it is that you want. I think you just have like um, a TV sort of a thing right in front of you. And that's actually cool because it kind of makes the, the trip a bit fun. The ride was actually bumpy as there were lots of bad roads like very very bad roads on our way like it was terrible and the fact that I was actually sitting at the back I I would advise you I would recommend that if you are ever traveling by road and you're taking a bus please don't sit at the back because the back seats are usually really bumpy as the pressure of the road is usually on the tire and then you are sitting right on top of the tire so it's not advisable to sit there except you don't mind um their speed limits i would say it's okay it's not that bad um the driver is only going this fast because the roads are free and um it's a highway and the road is actually smooth it's not like a bumpy road or something so the speed limit is actually okay um, but their customer care I'm not really okay I don't like their customer care I think they can do better and another thing I noticed a lot of their bosses were breaking down on the road and I think that's not good I think they should work on that aspect of having to have passengers on the road on the highway I think it's dangerous and I think it's very bad that most of their bosses are having to break down on the road. So yeah, here it is. I decided to make um, this video to show you guys, like if you're ever considering traveling by road with God is Good Motors, I think this is like, this is what you're going to be experiencing, so you should expect this. So we're finally at River State and this is what we saw on our way. Like this is so bad. Can you just imagine what this is doing to the atmosphere and to think that the people there are having to inhale such toxic substance into their systems. It's terrible. These suits, I, I, this is, I think this is like the cause of the whole suit issues in River State and it's very bad. So 
so it's getting dark and um, the good news is we're at River State we're finally at River State but it's actually dark I really don't like traveling by road because of this like I don't like to be on the road at night and it's quite unfortunate but I got I think we finally got to Port Harcourt at night and yeah but I thank God for a very smooth journey I thank God for um, journey mercies and yeah so this is it this is the experience of driving from Lagos to Port Harcourt by road through or via um, God is Good Motors thank you for watching the video